Well, a lot goes into making sure you're ready for these storms before they get here. That's why Air Force reservists are here running missions out of Mather Airport. You've probably heard them called the Hurricane Hunters. I got to fly with them, getting an early and up close look at the storms you're dealing with right now, just as they started churning over the Pacific. The mission for Hurricane Hunters starts early. Because once the engines roar, it's an eight to ten hour race through the sky. Picked a long one today. Pilot Major Forrest Hines showed us their target area. All these little red dots, white with the red in the middle, those are the spots that we're going to drop the drop signs. A roughly 3,000 mile radius over the Pacific in the Air Force Reserve's massive WC 130J as they hunted down rough and volatile storms aiming for the Sacramento region. I'm holding what's really the critical part of the mission. It's what's called the drop sign. This is the instrument that they drop out of the plane, it goes down into the storm, and can actually read the data that can tell us just how long a storm will last and even how strong it will be. Flight meteorologist Joyce Harai makes sure that data immediately gets to meteorologists on the ground for the most accurate forecasting. She's tracking as they strategically drop each instrument in a certain area at a specific time. As a meteorologist, you know It's personal for Major Harai. Growing up in the coastal region, she still has family in the Santa Cruz area. It is a personal mission for me. This is my third season doing this, and uh, this is probably the, the most, uh, the worst I've seen it. Hurricane hunters not hesitating on a mission high in the sky, knowing it's critical 30,000 feet below. We know that the weather can impact the coast and can impact the millions of people in California, so we're just here to try and do our best. Um, help give them the data they need. Now, a busy and brave crew. Researchers at Scripps Institute of Oceanography use the data as part of their research in predicting atmospheric rivers so we know how much rain they'll bring. Now, that helps engineers monitoring our reservoirs, including Folsom Lake, Lake Mendocino, so they can gauge when to release water.